In this video, we'll show you how to use the AWS Data Pipeline Web Console for basic troubleshooting. First, we log into the AWS Console. In this example, we have a pipeline that copies data from a MySQL data node object to an S3 data node object. However, the pipeline failed to run and we need to troubleshoot the problem. From the list of failed pipelines, we select the failed pipeline and view the instance details. The instance details include all the scheduled instances of pipeline objects, one per data node, activity, or resource defined, their status, and any recent attempts if applicable. In this filtered view, we can see the status of each instance of an object. We see that two instances have the status of finished, one failed, and another waiting on dependencies. This pipeline uses a copy activity object to copy data from a MySQL data node to an S3 data node, all of which runs on an EC2 resource. The S3 data node depends on the output of the copy activity and remains in the waiting on dependencies state, waiting for copy activity to finish, but the copy activity object has failed instead. Let's examine this instance. Clicking the arrow on the left of the instance, we can see the instance summary. We can see that the task attempted to execute and returned with an error message. This error message indicates that the SQL string cannot be null. We will return to this error in a moment. In the meantime, we can find other valuable information in the instance fields. When we look at the instance fields, we see this task executed within a resource, it no longer has any tries left, has a single input, and produced a single output. AWS Data Pipeline eases the management of tasks by automatically retrying failed tasks according to what we have defined in the pipeline. When the pipeline retries a task instance, it appears as multiple attempts. We can see that multiple task attempts have occurred. We close this dialog box and look for more troubleshooting information in the attempt fields. In the additional attempt fields, the error stack trace property indicates that the task runner was executing the copy activity object and appears to have experienced an error related to the SQL input. Given this error message, we know the copy activity object has an error about a SQL string, and we use a SQL string in the SQL query. We also know the SQL string relates to the input. With this information, we review the pipeline definition. We need to see if we misconfigured a component. From the instance details list, we can return to a simple view of the data pipeline definition. We compare the copy activity object with the documentation. From the web console in the documentation, we determine that the copy activity does not need a SQL string. Next, we review the MySQL data node object because the copy activity object depends on MySQL data node input and the error stack trace property mentions SQL input as the problem. By reviewing the web console optional fields and comparing them with the documentation, we see fields for insert query and select query. We do not have these fields defined in our MySQL data node object, so a missing query could be the cause of the error. In the documentation, we also notice that there is a tutorial for MySQL data export to S3 that requires a select query. Because of our investigation, it's clear that we're missing the select query in the MySQL data node, which means AWS Data Pipeline cannot identify the scope of the data to read from MySQL. To fix the problem, we add a select query field using the value as defined in the documentation. Now we save the pipeline, which saves our changes to a new version of the pipeline. However, this new pipeline is not yet active. The previous broken pipeline is still running. We activate the new pipeline to displace the old pipeline that's currently running in the system. From the pipelines list, we view the instance details. We choose the failed copy activity object choose the rerun action, and click Continue at the notification dialog box. We can see our EC2 resource object switch to the creating state and copy activity changes to waiting for runner. AWS Data Pipeline is rerunning copy activity but also any of its dependencies. After a while, copy activity changes to the finished state, indicating that our fix worked and the activity completed successfully. In this video, we showed you how to troubleshoot a pipeline with the web console by viewing scheduled instances and attempts, locating error messages, correcting the errors, and rerunning a failed instance. Each time you encounter a pipeline problem, the circumstances may be different. However, you can apply the general troubleshooting steps from this video to solve a wide variety of pipeline problems. If you have questions about these or other things that you can do with AWS Data Pipeline, 
visit the AWS Data Pipeline Developer Guide, the public forums, or the product page at aws.amazon.com slash datapipeline.